605 freeway northbound at Washington, traffic is... Our modern technological society has developed highly sophisticated transportation systems. But some of us yearn for the good old days, when you could breathe the clean, fresh air and move at your own pace. stop at your favorite watering hole. After all, the cocktail hour is an American tradition, a transition between the pressures of the day and the pleasures of home and family. What better way to wait out the rush hour traffic? Harry, make it a double. How you been, Tom? Busy. Don't have to ask you. Huh? A little drink to relax and get away from it all. Even while battles raged during the 40s, drinking helped men to forget. It was part of that special time to enjoy romance and to celebrate life. Hey! Uh, uh, look, we, uh, we wanted you two to be the first to know. We're, uh, we're gonna tie the knot. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Congratulations, you two. Hey, let's think of that. Mmm, it's right. Mm. And in the roaring 20s, drinking had the added thrill of rubbing shoulders with the glamorous underworld. Best in Tom, you're asking for trouble. Yeah, but Joe, she's swell. She belongs to Big Al. What am I gonna do, Joe? I love her.
great rye whiskey cut through the trail dust and bolstered a man's courage. Keep away from my woman. Getting home was no problem, the horse knew the way and would steer you through the rougher times. Today, if you drink too much, chances are you'll try to steer yourself home. And too often, that means trouble. You're driving very erratically when you went over the dividing line here. It appeared that you were going to lose control of your vehicle. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? I uh, I had a couple of... Mr. Roger, why don't you step out of the car, and I want to give you some balance to it. This first test heel of the tool, I want you to watch me closely. The important part of the test is placing the heel of the tool like this. You're watching my feet, sir? I want you to take six steps and turn around, turn around any way you want, take six steps back. Do you understand that, Tim? Would you attempt to do that, Tim, the way I demonstrated it? Mr. Reiser, it's my opinion that you've had too much to drink tonight to be operating a motor vehicle. I place you under arrest for Section 23102A of the California Vehicle Code, driving while under the influence of the intoxicating liquor. You place the hands behind your back, sir, and put your palms together. Now, Mr. Reiser, I want you to lean forward slightly. Place this tube about halfway in your mouth, and I want you to blow very deeply. From the bottom of your lungs, I want you to blow the red light out you see there, and keep blowing until the green light comes up. Turn control knob to the analyzed position. Check. Wait 90 seconds after red light signal. Read zero meter by using light switch and balance knob. Check. Record the test results. Check. Hey, Mr. Reiser, the results of this test disclose that your blood alcohol content is 0.16%. Under California law, anything over 0.10 is considered to be under the influence. At this time, we're going to book you the section of 23102A of the California Vehicle Code. Can Robert I call my attorney now? Would it be okay if I called him now, huh? I want you to close your eyes and I want you to touch the tip of the nose to the tip of the index. More left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, right hand. Do you understand that? No, wait. 
Not even Perry Mason could get you out of this. Well, hell, I can't even do that sober. Boom. Close your eyes. All right, now touch your nose. Now let's do the heel to the toe on the line bit. You're doing all right. Well, of course I am. See, your blood alcohol content was 0.16. What do you weigh, about 150? 145, 147 in there. The way I calculated, you had to have had six or seven drinks. And you hadn't had anything to eat either, right? Uh, gee, Paul, I thought you were on my side. Oh, come on, Tom, I am on your side. But if I'm going to represent you, I have to evaluate the evidence. It used to be that you could persuade the judge and jury if you looked good in court because it was just your word against the cops. But who can talk themselves out of evidence like this? Where does that leave us? I think we have to plead guilty. Guilty? Guilty. Guilty. Take him away. <laughs> no! No! No, please! <laughs> what punishments may be devised to dissuade the drinking driver? Perhaps your spouse will be considered equally responsible. Hey, wait a minute! You didn't do anything! You didn't! You both may take up new residence for an extended stay. Public works might be the sentence. Here, work. <sighs> or will a little exercise be the answer for the thirsty driver? of the ultimate hey. solution. Hey. Hey. Do you have any last words? I'll never drive after drinking again. Ready for sentencing, Mr. Reiser? Yes, yes, Your Honor. One year probation, fine of $330. Provided you complete the program recommended to you by the probation officer. If you fail to complete the program, you will spend 30 days in jail. Do you understand, Mr. Reiser? Yes, Your Honor. Fine. See the clerk. Thank you, Your Honor. People versus Schneider. I thought you said you had a good lawyer. Have the most expensive lawyer in town. It cost me $275 to plead guilty. Did your insurance man contact you yet? No. Oh. It'll double your cost. Here on me. Thank you, Harry. You're a principal man. Well, at least you didn't have to do any time. I already did time. I spent half the night at the police station. I spent a whole morning in court. Yeah. Then I had a whole probationary interview that took the better part of another half a day. Now I gotta spend every Wednesday night at court school. Yeah, I stick it to you every time. You're all here for the same reason. You've all been arrested while driving under the influence. We found out that putting people in jail or taking away their driver's license just didn't work. Problems caused by drinking drivers kept increasing. This film that we're about to see should give us some idea of why we're all here. Can we have a lights, please? In the United States, Thousands of persons are killed and hundreds of thousands seriously injured in traffic accidents every year. 
Government and safety experts have concluded that over 50% of these deaths and injuries are caused by drinking drivers and may have been prevented by finding some way to keep them from driving after drinking too much. In order to significantly reduce accidents, law enforcement agencies are being specially trained and equipped to detect drivers who have been drinking. which are helping people who have gotten into trouble from drinking and driving. A probation officer evaluates the problem with each person and recommends appropriate programs. Physical examinations are available with follow-up treatment as needed. Trained counselors help persons work out their problems. For some, self-help group therapy is the best method. In continuing education classes, drivers learn the effects of alcohol on the body. Persons participating in one or more of these programs are taking worthwhile steps toward reducing the chance of deaths and injuries to themselves, their families, and their fellow citizens. These programs have been established to help people change behavior that creates problems. But the success of any program depends on the active participation of the individual. It's your choice. I'll tell you what, come out fishing Saturday, relax, you'll forget the whole thing. Don't be silly, sweetheart. I'm fine. No, come on. I will drive. Uh, I will drive. I suggest that we sing a song. Okay, you start. What song? Ooh. I don't know. Uh, row, row, row your boat. Okay. Good song. Uh, you guys are Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row your boat down the stream. Life is but a dream. Watch out! 